Hello friends, in this video we'll see how you can use clone a patch and clone a solution in Dynamics 365. Let's have a look. Now doing incremental deployments from sandbox to UAT, training, SIT or production environment is a part of every other Dynamics 365 implementation. Now imagine if you create a new solution for every single time you move things over, the amount of mess it will leave behind and all the solutions will be an unorganized dump. Now if you want to stay organized and want to keep your system uh, and your solutions uh, synchronized and clean, then you can use use the functionalities that are available in the system called clone a patch and clone a solution. Let's say you add a table to a solution and export the solution. Now the table and all its uh, related assets are exported in that solution. Now these assets can include attributes, forms, views, relationships and visualizations and any other assets that are packaged with that particular table right so exporting all objects means that you can unintentionally modify objects on the target deployment or carry over unintended dependencies so to address this you can create and publish solution patches that contain subcomponents of the table rather than publishing the entire table and all its assets so the original solution and one or more related patches can be rolled up or merged at the later time into an updated version of the solution which can then replace the original solution in the target uh, Microsoft Dataverse organization. So let's just go ahead and see how this create a patch and create solution works. So let's see clone a patch first. So clone a patch should be used when you do not want parent dependencies in the solution all over again unless you want to change them. So always use this option when you want to add newer things to a previously existing solution. So let's see how that works. All right, so over here we have a solution called core solution. Now, this was my main solution the first time I started my customization. So it has one table called uh, expense claim, all right? So I just added one table and um, I have created this just for the demonstration purposes. So over here you can see in this particular solution, I have one table called expense claim. Okay, so I can just go back to my solutions and let's say that I had already deployed it over and the next time what I want to do is I want to add some more functionality to this existing solution that I had already deployed. So I should not create one more new solution. Rather, what I should do is I should use clone a patch. So I can select this particular solution and go to clone and click on clone a patch. Now in this clone a patch, I should keep the display name the same as it is and should not change the display name. What I can do, however, is work with the version number, the last two digits of the version number. Now, as you know, the standard that Microsoft follows or suggests is uh, in the version number is major, minor, build and revision. So what I can change is the build and the revisions when I'm doing clone a patch. But over here, you will notice that the initial version was 1.0.0.0. And as soon as I did a clone a patch, the system has already incremented the build, right? So it is 1.0.1.0. So all I need to do in this case is click on save and the patch solution is successfully created. So here you will notice that a new uh, patch has been created with the same display name. There's a difference in the schema name where uh, it is now original name underscore patch underscore patch number and you will see that the new version number has been applied. So the more patches you create the versions will be incremented. So now what I can do is instead of changing or modifying my uh, main solution I can now go to this patch solution and here you will notice that the slate is completely clean. All right. So all I need to do instead of, you know, uh, creating all the entities again or using all the entities again, I can just add the existing table, uh, which is the expense claim. All right. And here what I can do is I can just go to the columns. For example, I just want to add one more field. And all I need to do is just create a new column. And let's say it's amount and it's a currency. And then I can just uh, save it. All right, so that means I have created a patch solution. I have just added uh, the component that I need and I can then use this particular solution and deploy it over to the production. 
So that way I do not disturb the original solution and only add the things that I want to add or modify. All right. So this is how clone a patch works. Now, when it comes to clone solution, the clone solution is used when you have a main solution and several patches. So clone solution will, so what clone solution will do is it will roll up everything into a new parent solution and remove every other solution of which you cloned, including the source solution. So let's see how clone solution works. Okay, so in our previous example, we had the main solution and then we created a path solution, right? So now we are going to use clone solution uh, functionality. So in this case, what I do is I select my original main solution, which has different patches and there can be more patches if you created more. So I select the main solution, I click on clone and then I click on clone solution. Just like previous uh, example, we will keep the display name as it is. So here you will notice that I can play around with the major and minor versions and the build and revision are just fixed. Okay, so I can just change the first two major and minor uh, numbers of the version number. And here you will notice that the system has already incremented the minor version that is 1.1. .1. 0.0. So all I need to do over here is click on save. So here you will notice that a clone solution has been created with the relevant version number. So what I have done is I have cloned the solution and the resultant solution which is this one has all the components from the main solution as well as from the patch solution that was summed into one final solution which is core solution here 1.1.0.0. Okay so if you click on this and if we observe uh, the components within this particular solution you will notice that it had uh, the table expense claim and let's just see if had if it had all the columns from uh, the path solution as well and here you can see that the amount field that we had created in the path solution in the previous example has been rolled up over here as well and if i go back to my solutions you will also notice all the other previous solutions that i had that was the previous main solution and the path solution solutions have now been removed from this list. So there is this particular solution which is a roll up of all the other solutions that we did previously, right? So that's how clone solution works. So in this way you can have a clean solutions area. I hope this video helps. Why don't you go ahead and try it for yourself. We'll meet in next video with another topic. Bye for now.